Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, this is Brother Alan Hensley, Sky Holmes, and I'm making this video because, well, right now the clouds are doing some really weird stuff. One part seems to be standing still, the other part seems to be moving against the wind, and it's my understanding that clouds cannot move against the wind. But that's what it seems to be doing. And given, you know, the, everything I know about harp and them being able to weaponize the weather and everything, it just seems odd to me. Corporal Skills are under a tornado watch, which is, well, it's odd, but it's not that odd. You know, but it just seems with everything going on that, you know, it's an odd time. I mean, we got the deep state running in a panic because Trump is going after him. Trump's straight in the swamp doing exactly what he said he would do. Yet the Democratic Party in an absolute uproar panic because of Homie's book, where he blatantly lies in it, and Hillary's book. Maybe he's just coming out of the line. Oh, which um, basically, not basically, she literally lies in her book as well, brings everybody but herself for losing. You know. The fact that Mueller's had indictments after indictments after indictments after indictments being thrown out. I mean, you know, these have got the deep state and the Democratic Party panicking. And now we got this crazy weather. And all of a sudden we have this crazy weather and at the same time we got in the Democratic Republic of Congo yet another outbreak of Ebola and it, this one they say is going to be hard to get rid of if they can get rid of it at all type of a situation I mean I do believe that sometimes a coincidence happens, but this, this is a little bit too much all at once to just be a coincidence. <clears throat> what I think they might be doing is quite simply, to put it quite simple, they setting us up so that President Trump will have no choice in the matter but to declare a state of national emergency and to declare martial law because of all the riots that are happening and everything else and then when they do that's going to be when they um, come in and Oust them and everything. Hey, I'm in. Let me show you my boy Scott. What's up, Scott? Got to talk about this. Oh, the thing in the mail. Okay. But yeah, it's uh, just seems like there's a lot going on. It's a little bit too many coincidences all in one shot for me. But uh, I think I'd make this video. Put it out there to YouTube land and uh, see what my followers and everybody else online has to say about it. See if there's uh, any trolls that are going to run their mouths about it and see how they feel. Because everything I say I can back up with fact. You know, I mentioned Harp earlier. Which is where it's in Alaska, but they also have them in uh, Georgia, California. Well, actually, it's around the border to 
right on the border between California and Oregon, as well as, you know, a few other places across the country. And the hop is they send high intensity electro electricity up into the ionosphere and by doing so they're able to make storms where they want. They are able to control the weather. Now they can't control it as to how long it's going to last and you know how stuff like that but they can control how bad it's going to be where it's going to hit, where the strongest winds of it is going to be. You know, I believe that uh, given the history of everything I know, that Harvey, you know, the hurricanes, uh, Harvey and uh, Katrina and Tropical Storm Irene and, you know, the last really, really big storms that should have been like, one like once a century type storms. The fact that we've had as many of we as we've had right back to back is a direct result of them firing harp up into the ionosphere to intensify those storms. But I can't prove that but that's definitely what I believe. You know, I try to pull, I try to do like Alex Jones and only say things I can prove. But every so often, I got to state what I believe. And what I believe is that they've been doing that to get the uh, weather the way they want and everything for years. It's starting to rain. My friend Scott said that's why I just put out my umbrella, which is what you see behind me now. It's a nice looking umbrella. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, think about what I've said. And as always, you know, question what you're told. Don't just go by what your leaders in government, be it town, State, village, hell, you fucking leaders in the local Kiwanis or Eagles or Elks or whatever club tells you. Question it. Always get all the facts together before you make any kind of a decision. And as far as I'm concerned, this is enough for me. I'm going to see if my friend has anything he'd like to say. Scott, would you like to say anything? No, I'm ready to sign off. Say, question everything. Because, uh, um, all kinds of new stuff is coming out. Even stuff you might not believe. Question it. Find out. Alright, until next time, this has been Brother Ellen Hensley and Scott Holmes, and uh, even though it's not called it yet, kind of, uh, you know, I guess we could say that we're the, uh, the truth punishers, always out looking for the truth fighting for our constitution and our, the sovereignty of our country. And until next time, we'll keep doing it. And patriots, you keep fighting as well. You're not alone. May God bless or whatever you believe in bless you. Keep you safe. And until next time, God bless America. Have a good day.